The Lord must be a foundation of our lives every day. In fact, having an attitude of gratitude as to our spiritual and physical health all year round. And it is a mindset we can cultivate. Hello everyone. May the good Lord bless you. Our topic today is give thanks to God. We can certainly express our appreciation to family and friends for employment, present experience and new things. But the Bible clearly instructs Christians to fix our eyes on the Heavenly Father, the true source of every good thing in our lives. He is the one who graciously gives us good things of all kinds and our natural response should be thank him especially how can we express thanksgiving enter his gaze with thanksgiving and his cause with praise give thanks to him and praise his name psalm 100 verse 4 we can lift up our thanks privately anytime but there is something very special about gathering together to express gratitude to God. Listening to stories always lead me to more aware and grateful for God's presence in my life. I want to tell you a story of a sister. This sister married for 10 years, no child. Somebody brought her to our ministry. We are praying. We are praying. God answered us. And this, our sister, became pregnant and she delivered a bouncing baby. But later we don't see her again. She don't even call on the phone or ask, how are you doing or what? But sometimes I call her and ask, how is the baby? Continue asking. Sometimes I'll visit her and give her things and come out. But this lady cannot even come. What we started hearing is that she went to one native doctor that gave her one something, one concussion, she drank and she became pregnant. I said, okay, we have God as our judge and we cannot judge anyone. So we prayed. After, after two years, this woman came back again and said that she is sorry of what she did. She neglected God. I said, I told her, no, you didn't neglect God, you neglect yourself. So what you should do, go and thank God for what he did for you. Verses all through the Bible point us back to God as our creator and sustainer. And how we are to be thankful, we have to be a thankful people. The list of things we could praise him for is endless. But here are just a few reasons to give thanks to God all year long. Don't be surprised if more blessings come to your mind as you read this or as you hear this video. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and restore him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. Psalm 95 verses 2 to 3. Give thanks for his love. In 1 John, the disciples say straight out that God is love. 1 John 4, 8. In scripture, we see those that receive and embrace his unconditional love. For them, humbly and joyfully thanks the Lord for it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. 1 Chronicles 16.34 I'm just showing you all these verses for you to go and read it by yourself. God is truthful. God is real. Our God is merciful and he is powerful. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 106 verses 1 Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. God's love is just as strong for us today 
as it was of for those in scripture. He is still our Abba Father, hallelujah, who seeks relationship with us. His deep and abiding love should lead us to praise him, just like those we read about in the Bible. And now, how has God shown his love to you? Put it in the comment section so that we here will rejoice with you. Hallelujah. And again, give thanks for his provision. Every day you pray for God to provide for you. From the earliest days of the Israelite nation, God has delivered his people from and led them through all sorts of trials and hardships. So many accounts tell of people responding with gratitude for how God watched over them in challenging times. Their trust grew stronger and led them to pray with expectation going forward. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart lives for joy, and with my song, I praise him. Psalm 28, verse 7. I thank and praise you, God of my ancestors. You have given me wisdom and power. Daniel chapter 2, verse 23. Do not be anxious about anything, but by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving present your request to God. This one is a popular one. Philippians 4, 6. Hallelujah. Continue to sing praises unto God. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. Always giving thanks to God, the Father for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters. May the good Lord guide and protect you in Jesus name.